uh, Parliament um, Committee investigating HARP way back in the 90s when it wasn't fully empowered uh, and fully uh, on stream. And they were pointing out in that report that one of the things that HARP could do was move the jet stream, which is what's been blamed for these weather systems, that strange weather systems we've been having in, 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 in Britain over the last few years. Um, and then you, you think that what is a, what is, um, a tornado? It's a fast-rotating electrical electromagnetic field. You can create that by te technological means. And what about uh, a hurricane? What about a typhoon? All these things are capable of being created by this technology. And if it wasn't, then why would you have global um, agreements and treaties between countries agreeing that they won't manipulate the weather when that's precisely, um, uh, if, they could, if they couldn't do it? But that's precisely what they can do. And there was a BBC um, radio investigation into something that happened in, I think it's the 1950s, a place called Linton and Lynmouth. A uh, very famous, dramatic flood that killed people and devastated the village as it came down and, uh, into the sea. Um, and all these years later, I mean, the, the rain that caused it was unbelievable. We're talking the 1950s. Um, and it came out in this, in this radio documentary that actually the Royal Air Force had been using um, uh, cloud seeding, rain seeding um, uh, technology, I think it was sulfur they used, um, which in the, in the period running up to that fantastic rain, which actually caused it. This is the 1950s. What, what is possible in 2013? And you know, when Native Americans used to do the rain dance, people say, oh, you can't make the rain by dancing. What were they doing? Bang, bang, bang. And, and, and in the way that they did it, the rhythm, the drums, the creating a vibrational field. And if you get the vibrational field right, you create the impact of rain. And all that's happening now is they're doing it on a, an, on a far more technological uh, level. So it's a, a, a really good thing for people when we have these great typhoons and, and, and uh, these unbelievable numbers of um, tornadoes they've had in the Midwest in the, uh, over the last few years, and all these big weather extremes. They say, it's global warming. Well, maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's technologically created because of what Day said, weather modification will be used as a weapon of war. Look at the countries that have been devastated by weather, and what happens to them afterwards? They're taken over. Thanks, David. Much of the information is available on davidike.com. You can go to davidike.com forward slash headlines. We'll be